Now to a history-making play set to debut at the University of Hawaii's Kennedy Theater. The comedy combines different languages. Here's Kamaka Pili with a preview. Here at UH Manoa, the Kennedy Theater brings their season to a close with yet another Hanakeaka, or Hawaiian theater. Primarily performed in Olelo Hawaii, or Hawaiian language, this production, which is known as Ho'oilina, brings attention and its spotlight to yet another language, known as Olelo Mahu. Let's go inside to find out more. So we're here with some very influential people when it comes to this play. Akea Kahikina, who's the writer and director, and Kaimina Owao Camburn, who's one of the actors. Thank you both for uh, taking the time. First, Akea, the name Ho'oilina, what does that mean? And when people come to watch this play, what can they expect to see? Absolutely. So Ho'oilina translates to three things. One is a legacy, one is a inheritance, and one is a burying place, somewhere where your ivi kupuna are buried. Um, all three of these definitions kind of come together when we talk about uh, a will reading. There's all sorts of questions that come out of this, so it really challenges all of us to think about in a time of realization, you know, what are the consequences of that, both good and bad. Speaking of time, what does that make you feel like in terms of this momentum of people becoming more familiar with Hawaiian theater and more interested in Hawaiian Absolutely. theater. Absolutely. Um, so, Hanakiaka, um, starting in 2014 with Laie Kawaii, to see it now in 2022, we've really done some great work in being able to establish our mo'olelo, our traditional stories. And now, because of my kumu and their predecessors to work on how to crawl so we can walk and run and fly, um, we're able to do stories about today. This is a whole Ilona for us to say we're doing the work and we're, we're doing something right here. And kind of tangenting from that, the ability to perform and express yourself and play this character speaking Hawaiian mm. in 2022, what does that make you feel like? It's really healing in many ways because the, the subject of Olelo Hawaii sometimes in Hawaiian families who have been severed from the language for generations can be quite painful to talk about. So studying the Hawaiian language is about mending that pico again. One thing that's bringing the spotlight in this play is something called Olelo Mahu. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of that before. Can you explain what that is? Sure, you've probably heard it before. Like you've heard marry, you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> so um, you hear it all over the place. It's a play language, right? Um, so I think it's important to, to kind of look at the history of uh, play languages in Hawaii, which we have a, a wonderful history of that. We have Olelo Kake, we have Olelo Kukai Manu, we have Olelo Nehiva, we have Olelo Okoloke. Uh, so all of these different play languages or code languages coming along through into this time, to me, Olelo Mahu, uh, or this queer creole, if you will, it's a living version of that play language. We actually are here. Mm, she is. Eh, Loa. Oh. Mom, I'm gonna give her the RK. What? No. Yeah. What I really appreciate about this show, and I hope audiences will leave, is seeing that, you know, queer kanaka, mahu in general, um, those identifying as mahu are human beings um, and have depth, substance, um, beauty, complexity. And so I'm hoping that the audience can leave carrying all of that with them. This production of Ho'oilina is set to premiere next weekend, April 15th and 16th, along with the following weekend, the 22nd through the 24th. Tickets are still available, limited live audiences. So be sure to visit our website, khwn2.com, for all the information. Kamaka Pili with KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.